Mason Grandmaster Andrew Jackson. The organization behind the Ku Klux Klan in the United States post-Civil War and its rebirth in 1915. The organization behind the detonations at Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Somebody didn't want the gray state investigated, explored, and unveiled. That's why David Crowley is dead. He was the writer and director of one of the most controversial movies in modern history. And somebody didn't want him to produce it. What was so threatening about David Crowley and the gray state concept? Like gray state, many Hollywood films have depicted apocalyptic themes and end of the world scenarios. Yet the directors of these films are still alive. Roland Emmerich wasn't murdered after directing Blockbusters 2012 and A Day After Tomorrow. Steven Soderbergh wasn't killed after his movie, Contagion. But David Crowley is dead, along with his wife and child. They were killed before the production could be completed. What was so dangerous about Grey State? David Crowley claimed that his movie was based on real events, not Hollywood propaganda like you see in movies such as 2012. California is going down! God, you sound like a crazy person. The governor just said we're fine now. The guy's an actor. He's reading a script. So The Great State is essentially an artistic representation of real aspects put into a fictional format. Once you uh, open your eyes and start looking at, at all these trends like RFID, like martial law, like FEMA, like executive orders, you have to act within your own capacity to sort of uh, you know, talk about this. A lot of people filter that into the political realm. A lot of people do other things like grassroots style. I mean, I'm a filmmaker, Danny's an actor. So we put our heads together and we started making a project that would act within our own faculty to uh, portray that in a creative manner. So uh, there's a story here, you know, I have to start telling a story. So I was looking for the next film project to work on anyway. I'm like, well, this would be perfect. And it's not really perfect because <laughs> you have to kind of filter down all this stuff into a narrative storyline that's not just propaganda telling you what's going to happen next, like 2012 or a day after tomorrow. It's got to be a human story and it's got to be endearing and compelling. The way we're different is we're independent and uh, we don't expect any uh, participation from any studios just because of its contentious nature. I mean, anyone knows that Hollywood has not approached this topic so directly before. That's what makes, makes Grey State so compelling. That's, it's that different. Definitely the trailer is our best efforts to kind of show this world and uh, expose these very real issues that exist in our world today. David claims that Hollywood has never dealt with topics like RFID, internment camps in America, and detention. Instead, they have produced propaganda in place of real issues. When Hollywood does discuss internment and detention, it's almost always about World War II and the Holocaust. Literally thousands of films have been produced about the Holocaust. And yet one single film that addresses the potential for a Holocaust in the United States is stopped mid-production after its director is murdered. Seems a bit odd, doesn't it? They don't want Americans, Canadians, and other Western countries to know what is coming. And that is a plan to intentionally collapse Western society. If you don't believe me, read the plan that's been in the books for over a century, planned out by the Illuminati and penned by Albert Pike back in the 1800s in his three World War predictions. Gray State was simply too threatening. It revealed too much, not just the obvious points of what could happen, with the collapse of a society, things like martial law, food shortages, and a provisional government. It goes beyond this. David knew a secret, and he left it inside of the trailer for Grey State, in plain sight. David Crowley used the Illuminati's favorite game against the notorious Cabal. It's a game they've played with the human race for years, they provide clues about the future to toy with us 
They did it with 9-11. They've done it with other major catastrophes. It's called predictive programming. On occasion, though, they get outsmarted at their own game. What was David's hidden message inside the gray state? And could it be the reason for his death? Perhaps the scariest part of Grey State's conceptual trailer is this character here, who appears to be operating a guillotine. David Crowley was very intentional in this frame of the movie. He added something that I believe he wanted the people to know about. Who is the identity of this executioner? If you look closely, you will see that this terrifying character is wearing something around his waist. It appears to look like an apron. The executioner wears a Freemason apron, complete with the all-seeing eye, the compass, and the two pillars. I do believe David Crowley is trying to tell us something. He is telling us that the organization behind the French and American revolutions, the organization behind the Italian revolution of 1830, the organization that outlined a plan to overtake the Vatican in a document called the Alta Vendita, the organization behind the Trail of Tears and the deaths of thousands of Native Americans under Freemason Grandmaster Andrew Jackson, the organization behind the Ku Klux Klan in the United States post-Civil War and its rebirth in 1915, the organization behind the detonations at Hiroshima and Nagasaki during 33rd degree Freemason Harry Truman's presidency. These are men with a radical revolutionary agenda throughout the entire world because they worship and follow a radical revolutionary deity. The first to have led a revolt against the Most High Lord. David Crowley knew something and he was trying to warn the people the ones behind the FEMA death camps, the guillotines, and the detention of Americans, it's the Freemasons. They're planning a second American revolution. <laughs>